All right, guys, so after you have started to letter your quote, um, then we're gonna start adding in the value, okay? So you should have just done this with lines. So you should have all of your letters and then you should have all of the lines, the convergent lines connecting back to the vanishing point, okay? Now, to give this even more depth, we're gonna begin to add value. Remember, value means the darkness and the lightness of, um, of a shade, I guess, or a shade or tint. So what we're gonna do for this project is all the tops and the bottoms are gonna be a really dark value and all of the sides are going to be a medium value and we're gonna leave the faces of the letters white, okay, for, for drama. So the N, so the bottoms of the N. So see how this is a dark value, dark value all the way down. And then the side, so anything that would be the edge of the end. So this is gonna be a medium, this is gonna be a medium, and this is gonna be a medium. And then I'm gonna leave the face of the end white. Does that make sense? Now this E I've done a little bit incorrectly um, because the bottom of this should be dark, the bottom of this should be dark, the bottom of this should be dark, that's correct. But there should actually be a line here that's medium. And as you can see, it's kinda of hard to see, but there's actually a, a edge here it's medium. The V, the very bottom of the V is the dark, and then this is medium. The bottom of the E is dark, the bottom of this is dark, and then as you can see the side is medium. Okay? Well, so you're gonna, just going to continue on until you've done all of the bottoms and the sides. And then for your letter that's below the horizon line, we're going to make the tops dark and then the sides are going to stay that medium. Okay? If you have any questions about Miss Bagley, should this be dark, medium, light, whatever, just ask and I'll help you out. So let's practice with the E. Where should the darks be in the E? Think about it. Where should the darks be on this E? Okay, hope you've thought about it. Um, the dark should be here, because that's a top, and also here, that's a top, and here, because that's a top to that part of the E. And then this side here, should be the medium. And then we'll leave the front of the E white, okay? So as you can see over here with the up and the never give up, I've started shading the top of this U, the dark. I've started shading the top of the P dark. I'm gonna make this a medium. I'm gonna make this a medium and I'm gonna make this a medium. I'm gonna leave the fronts of the letters light, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Um, I've gotta finish lettering the never give up and then I've gotta letter in, uh, shade in my let it go. Um, and then after we're all done with all of this, I'll talk about what we're going to do for the background, okay? To really make these letters pop, we're going to do something special with the background. So um, if you have any questions, remember to ask Miss Bagley, and I will help you out, okay? Good luck, and I hope that you have a good time with your lettering project. And remember, words are really powerful, so um, you have a chance to really, really showcase a quote of your choice. So make this, make this special, make this important, and make it mean something to you, okay? Never give up.